Hello cousins, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Big Mama Cooks and I have an Instagram page where I post recipes all the time at Big Mama Cooks underscore. Today we kick off the very first recipe video for the Semana Santa recipes. And we're starting with none other than the classic habichuelas con dulce because it can't be Semana Santa without a big pot of habichuelas con dulce. And I'm going to walk you right on through all of the steps. You're going to be surprised that this one's actually kind of easy. Easy. Let's get right to it. All of the ingredients are going to be listed in the bottom bar. Here I have the majority of the ingredients, but I forgot to add to the display brown sugar, salt, a batata, and cinnamon sticks. But here we have the majority, including the very important pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, don't worry. I have you with those steps too. I am going to start off by rinsing my beans, and then I'm going to add them straight to my pressure cooker. And then I'm going to cover my beans with water. I like to cover with about two extra inches of water, and I'm going to add in my spices. So I'm going to add in a tablespoon of powdered cinnamon, two teaspoons of nutmeg and a handful of cloves and I'm gonna mix this up together and let it pressure cook for one hour between 50 minutes and an hour if you don't have a pressure cooker you're going to use a large pot add your beans to the pot and cover it with water and I mean ample water so if the beans cover about one inch of the bottom you're going to put about three inches of water and you're going to let this cook for two and a half to three hours and so you come and you poke a fork and it's nice and tender. In the meantime, I'm going to start working on my batata. The trick to picking out good batata is to cut off one of the points and to see the color. If it's bright white, you have a good batata on your hand. Batata, just like platano, oxidizes and when air hits it, it starts to get black. So while I work on my second batata, I'm going to leave the first one in water to prevent it from getting black. And then I'm gonna go into chopping and cutting on my batata. Now, this is a disclaimer. You cut your batata in the way that you like it. So if you like small pieces, you cut your small pieces. In my household and my family, we like chunks of batata. So I'm going to cut my pieces into bigger, medium, and some small pieces. This is all preference. If you like smaller pieces, you chop them up smaller. If you like them bigger, you leave them bigger. That's all up to you. I am going to bring some water to boil in a small pot and I'm going to add four cinnamon sticks. This is the pot where I'm going to boil the batata on the side and this boils in about 10 to 12 minutes you have some boiled batata. Once my batata is done, I'm going to drain it and let it sit. Remember, add the cinnamon sticks. I wanted to take a moment to shamelessly plug my can opener. This is the greatest thing ever. I have it listed in my Amazon shop listed below in the description bar. All you have to do is set it and forget it. It does all of the work for you and it is the greatest thing in the world. At this point, my beans had been going for about 55 minutes and my pressure cooker had cooled down enough to open up. And now comes the fun part. We are going to start building our habichuelas con dulce. I added about two thirds of my beans to my blender along with a can of coconut milk and two cups of beans water. And I'm going to blend this up really well. I reserved about a third of the beans to add in later on because we like grains in my house. If you do not like the bean grains, you're going to blend all of your beans. So I'm going to blend for about a minute because I need it extra, extra blended. And once that's blended, I'm going to pass it through a strainer right back into my pressure cooker or the big pot that you're using. And I'm, I am going to strain this and pass this through until all I have left is this bean paste. And I'm going to discard this bean paste because I don't use it. If you have a use for it, go right ahead. And here comes the fun part. I am going to add in my one can of evaporated milk and using a whisk, I'm going to whisk the liquid through. My stove is going on very, very low heat. It's almost off. And then I'm going to add in my batata along with the cinnamon sticks and my bean. Remember, if you don't like the actual bean grains in your habichuelas con dulce, then all of your beans have to be blended in the blender like the before part. Then we're going to go ahead and add in the sweetened condensed milk, the entire can. Remember to use a spatula to get every last drop out and we're going to continue whisking it to avoid our habichuelas con dulce to start clumping up at the bottom. Next are the spices. I have here a teaspoon of cinnamon and another teaspoon of nutmeg and I'm adding in two teaspoons of salt and I'm going to whisk this up really well. Then I'm going to add in one tablespoon of vanilla and again, we're going back to whisking. 
A lot of habichuela con dulce consists of is whisking and moving and mixing so it doesn't clump up at the bottom. Next, I'm going to add in half a cup of brown sugar. It is important that it's brown sugar and not white sugar because brown sugar has this thick molassy taste that is perfect for the habichuelas con dulce and we're back to mixing. After I add in the brown sugar, I raise the flame to medium and we have this perfect habichuela con dulce consistency. I like to raise the flame at this point because I want all of the flavors to marry really well. You see how it's coating the spoon? This is perfection. At this point, my habichuelas have been going for 25 minutes on the stove with constant stirring. And I added half a cup of raisins and my galletitas de leche. At this point, my beans are basically done. Sing victory, you have made your huge pot of habichuelas con dulce. Now, I wanted to show you guys a very important step that happens to so many of us. Do you see the sides of my pot that they're the same color of my habichuelas con dulce? Okay, if you decided to step away from your pot or your flame was too high, more than likely you're going to end up burning your habichuelas con dulce. Do you see how dark the sides of my pot got? And your beans are going to get really, really thick. The way you fix it is by lowering the flame first and foremost and adding two cups of regular milk. Add your two cups of regular milk and mix it really well. Again, remember to lower the flame to very low and you're going to have to add in either a little more brown sugar or some more sweetened condensed milk and that will fix your habichuelas con dulce. Do you know what these containers mean? It means that it's habichuela con dulce season and you have to give some out to your family members. Cousins, habichuelas con dulce is a staple in the Dominican Republic and a tradition for Semana Santa. If you've ever felt intimidated by making habichuelas con dulce, I hope this video helped you and guided you along the way. Thank you for watching, cousins. See you again next time.